guys, it's Margaret, and today I'm going to show you how I ship off fabric, how I prep it, package it, and get it ready to go out to the customer. Um, so this really nice piece of fabric has sold. It's um, got lots of tools and almost nautical type um, diagrams on it. It's really cool. Um, but before I ship it out, I've got to get some things together and ready to do so. Uh, so the first thing I'll do after I fold it up and make it look nice is I will wrap it um, wrap it up in some nice tissue paper. I'll pick one. <laughs> and then seal it up with one of my thank you stickers. And I ordered these off of Etsy. I like to try to support other sellers. Um, so once I have that all packaged up nicely in the tissue paper, I will then slip it into a poly bag. And the reason I do this is that if the first poly bag, the original outside poly bag gets torn or damaged, um, there's another extra layer of protection there, which may seem like overkill, but I would rather err on the side of caution. Um, plus the person spent, you know, a nice bit of money, you know, any amount of money honestly is, is worth the protection because someone is coming to your store and trusting you and, and, and giving you their money um, for the item. So after that, I will place it into a regular poly bag with one of my cards. This is the card that I had made up on Vistaprints, um, Texas Gal Treasures. It tells my eBay and Etsy shop, my email. And then on the back, if they shop on Etsy, Etsy, there's a coupon code. So let me get that all packaged up and I will show you the steps as I go along. I need to make sure that the fabric is folded nicely, not just like rolled up and shoved in there. It was a nice big piece. What I'm trying to do is make sure all the little frayed edges are towards the inside so that it presents um, nicely. All right, so I've got my fabric roll, um, folded up nice into a nice small bundle that I know will fit into my poly bags. I will take my tissue paper and roll it up. All right, I've got my fabric packaged up nicely. It looks like a little envelope, that's cute. Um, so this is ready now to go into the first poly bag, my clear one that's going in there. And I may go ahead and just slide my card into that first poly bag as well. Why not? All right, so there we have that. And then now this one is going into the poly mailer, this poly mailer. And here we have the final package ready for the shipping label. Now I will say that when I shipped out some upholstery fabric a while back, it was really heavy, really bulky. And so I did not send it in a poly bag because of its weight and because of its heft. Um, I wanted to make sure one, that it was protected because I knew the person was probably going to be using it for, you know, an upholstery type project. So I did, you know, poly bag it, but then it went into a box and shipped out that way. Um, just because I knew the weight of the fabric would probably, um, the chances of it being torn or ripped in a poly bag was greater at that point. So you have to keep in mind what kind of fabric you're sending, the weight and, and everything to, um, to ship that out. All right, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, if you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button down below. Um, subscribe if you are not already. And guys, I just want to say I am grateful that you are watching. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.